Shalom. I'll pray to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, Bahashim, Rikak Dash. Double honors to the apostle and elders of great millstone who rule well, and a sincere citation to the Akhna, pushing that truth throughout the four winds of the earth, working up the hope for the elect. Coming at you with another lesson the elect, the predestined elect. Okay, the elect was predestined from the beginning. The scripture tell you that the sons of God was predestined from the beginning. They was foreknew from the beginning. Okay, when the Most High established this earth, when he said his son, Yahushua, he had men that was with him from the beginning, which are called the sons of God. Which it tells you is in Genesis chapter 6, the sons of God, whose name was changed through time, okay, going through Jacob, which Jacob's name was changed to Israel. Israel means Yasha Allah, he prince of God, okay, the sons of God. So the sons of God's name was changed to Israel, he prince of the power, okay. So the sons of God was predestined from the beginning, the elect. So the first verse I'm going into, this is John chapter 15. John chapter 15, verse 27. And it reads, And ye also shall bear witness, because ye have been with me from the beginning. Now this is in the red. So this is Yahweh Shah speaking with the word in the power of Jesus. Okay, it reads again. This is John chapter 15, verse 27. And ye also shall bear witness. What witness? Of the, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Okay? Preaching this truth. This sound doctrine. It say, and ye also shall bear witness. Because ye have been with me from the beginning. Okay, we're talking about when he was walking on the earth, talking to the twelve disciples, with well, eleven, because Judas betrayed him, the Most High Son Yahusha, but also from the beginning, man, predestined from the beginning of time. Okay, it say, and ye shall bear witness, because ye have been with me from the beginning. Okay, now this is. Ephesians chapter 1, and I'm going to start at verse 4. And it reads, According as he has chosen us in him before the foundation of the world. Can okay, we read that again? This is Ephesians chapter 1, verse 4. According as he had chosen us who is us, the elect of Israel, man? Okay, the sons of God. Okay, it says, according as he has chosen us in him before the foundation of the world, that we should be holy, mean set apart, separate, and without blame before him in love. Verse 5, having predestinated us unto the adoption of children by Yahweh Shah Mashiach, to himself according to the good pleasure of his will. Okay. Being predestinated, man. Okay. From the foundation, from the beginning, man. Okay, this is Ephesians chapter 1, verse 11. It reads, In whom also we have obtained an inheritance, being predestinated. According to the purpose of him who worketh all things after the counsel of his own will. And it's talking about your house shot. They tell you in Colossians, man, and in Hebrews, the first chapter, man, Colossians 2, it's like Colossians chapter 1, verse 15. They tell you that, and in Hebrews chapter 1, man, that the Most High gave his son a blueprint, Yahweh shot, to create the earth, man. We come and read this again. They say, in whom also we have obtained an inheritance, 
being predestinated according to the purpose of him who work of all things after the counsel of his own will, okay, that we should be to the praise of his glory who first trusted in Hamashiach. Okay, it says the most high trusted in Hamashiach, man, Yahweh Shah. Okay. Verse 13, in whom ye also trusted, after that ye heard the word of truth, which is Yahweh Shah, the gospel of your salvation, in whom also, after that ye believed, ye were sealed with that Holy Spirit of promise, that separate, that sanctified, set apart, okay, spirit of promise, man, okay, he said you were sealed, and that's talking about the elect, man. 144 man that one third man now this is romans chapter 8 i'm gonna start at verse 28 and it reads and ye know that all things work together for good to them that love god to them who are called according to his purpose it's a to them who are the call according to his purpose Verse 29, for whom he did foreknow, he also did predestinate to be conformed to the image of his son. Okay, so he made his elect according to the image of his son, man. That he may be the firstborn among many brethren. Okay, Yahweh is the firstborn, okay, of his brethren, man, of the 12 tribes of Israel. Because the, the son, Yahweh come from the tribe of Judah, man. Okay, verse 30 says, Moreover, whom he did predestinate, them he also called. And whom he called, them he also justified. And whom he justified, them he also glorified. Who is them, man? Talking about the elect men, man. The sons of God, man. Yahshua, all princes of the power, man. Okay, the princes of God, man. The sons of God. Okay, the elect, the chosen, man. Hey, this ain't rocket science, man. The scripture tell you that his men were predestined from the beginning, man. Okay, this is John chapter 6, verse 44. And it reads, No man can come to me except the Father which have sent me draw him, and I will raise him up at the last day. And we are in the last time, man. That's why the Most High Son is saying, Yahweh shot to raise up them elect men who was with him from the beginning, man, who was predestined, man. Okay? If you go back, man, and listen to the verses, man, go through the scripture, you'll see that his elect men was predestined from the beginning. Okay, this is John 15, verse 16. And it reads, ye have not chosen me, but I have chosen you and ordained you, meaning from the beginning, man, that you should go and bring forth fruit and that your fruit shall remain, that whosoever shall call, that, that, whoso, that whosoever ye shall ask of the Father in my name, he may give it you, okay? You was already pre Destinated, ordained for this truth, man. Now this is um First Peter's chapter one and twenty. First Peter chapter one verse twenty, and it reads, "Who verily was for was for ordained." Before the foundation of the world, but was manifested in these last times for you. Okay? Yahweh Shah, man. Who the word even called Jesus, man. Okay. Was set up so he can wake so he can come back and be crucified for his elect men, man. The ones that were predestined from the beginning, man, who was ordained to do this truth, to do this work, the will of the most high, his father, man, Yahweh. Okay, um, let's 
So, verse 21. This is First Peter chapter 1, verse 21. Who by him do believe in God that raised him up from the dead and gave him glory that your faith and hope may be in God. Okay? So, we was predestined, man, from the beginning, man. Now, this is John chapter 17, and I'm going to read verse 6. It reads, I have manifest thy name unto the men which thou gavest me out of the world. Thine they work. This is your house. This is in the red. He said, Thine they work. Okay, he's saying, Father, they was yours. And thou gavest them me. And they have kept thy word. Talking about the elect men, man. Now they have known that all things whatsoever thou hast given me are of thee. Okay, he's saying, It's from you, the most high, your house. For I have given unto them the words which thou gavest me. And they have received them and have known surely that I came out from thee. And they have believed that thou didst send me. Okay, verse 9. I pray for them. I pray not for the world, but for them which thou hast given me, for they are thine. Okay, verse 15. I pray not that thou shouldest take them out of the world. But that thou shouldest keep them from the evil. They are not of the world, even as I am not of the world. Okay, verse 17. Sanctify them through the through thy truth. Thy word is truth. As thou hast sent me into the world, even so have I also sent them into the world. And for their sakes I sanctify myself, means set apart, that they also may be sanctified through the truth. Neither pray I for these alone, but for them also which shall believe on me through their word. Okay? Waking up the rest of the elect men, man. That's what that means. He said, Neither pray I for these alone, but for them also which shall believe on me through their, through their word, man. Okay? Talking about the elect men. Waking up the rest of the elect men, man. Okay, starting with the positive L is a great millstone, man. Okay, GMS. That is where the whole truth, man. 100% of the truth, man. The predestined elect men, man. The 144, man. The one third, man. Okay, the 144 plus the, the other great multitude, man, that no man can number. Okay, which is all together one third, man. So, with that, man, being predestinated, Lord willing, I'm one of the elect men. I want to say all praise to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, Bahashim, Rukakudash, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well, and a sincere salutation to the ark and pushing the truth throughout the four winds of the earth. Shalom.